Hello everyone. As some of you have requested about how to create ECA for Canada Immigration Program. ECA stands for Educational Credential Assessment, which means you need to assess your qualification from your country to Canada standards so that Canada will recognize your education. Regardless of which kind of program you want to apply to get a Canadian permanent resident, uh, you need to do the ECA. What ECA means is that you can have a diploma, high school, bachelor, master degree in your country that need to be assessed by Canadian uh, standards so that they will tell you, okay, your bachelor degree is equal to Canadian bachelor degree if your school is good enough. Let's say if your school is a shitty school, for example, let that mean it's not same level as Canadian bachelor degree. In that case, even though you have the bachelor degree, the Canada Education Service will only give you as a diploma. For example, you may have the master degree, but the Canada Education Service thought that your master degree is not good enough, they might recognize you as a bachelor degree. So they can give you one level down, or maybe they will just recognize as the same level as you have in your country. So let's create your ECA. When I apply my Canada permanent resident, I use WES to do my ECA. So let's see WES website which is wes.org. So if you are new, you need to uh, create a new applicant by clicking on Get Started. And then can click Apply Now to apply for WES account. And where will you use your evaluation? So of course, it's Canada. Permanent resident application, you will click this one because you are not refugee. Uh, just like other registration form, you can register the WES account. I will skip that part because it's pretty straightforward. That's my Singapore phone number. Then click on next. So then, what is the primary purpose of this evaluation? So I will click Immigration. Do you want to go for IC, IRCC application? I will click No, because I want to apply permanent resident. What credential have you earned? If you have completed less than one year diploma post-secondary study, WES recommend that you also include secondary education credential. So in here, you can add your credential. And here, you will select the country. For example, for in my case, I will add Singapore, institution type, uh, higher education, then name of the Name of the education, name of the institution is National University of Singapore. And name of diploma or certificate is Bachelor, B A C H E, Bachelor of Information, sorry, Bachelor of Computer Science. Is it a, doctor, a doctorate degree? No. So fill up the name and fill your study computer science. Year awarded is 2010. Year attend from 2006 to 2000. 10. Okay, so this is one of my credentials. 
So I have one credential already, but if you have more than one credential, you can add another credential. For example, if you have another diploma, another master degree, you can add it here. So for me, for my case, I only have one, so I will just add one, then go to the next. Then this is show me the delivery address, which is my Singapore address. Uh, would you like to order additional copy? Uh, for some people, if you, if you are like, for example, if you keep losing your stuff, or if you are a very careless person, if you are very disorganized, you can consider order the additional copy. I think it will charge you. Yeah, it will charge you extra for that. For me, I will just use one. So I, I put no. Then click on next. So it will cost $115 and click next. In this page, it will, sh it will show me what kind of delivery service I want to use. So I will say international career, UPS or TNT based on your country. So it will cost me $85. I would like to explain more about this page because it is a little complicated. There are two ways you can assess your qualification. As you can see, there are option one and option two. In my case, I study in Singapore and most of the Singapore institution, they will have you to send your transcript to the WES. So they are familiar with this kind of procedure and they will have you do that. But for other country, their institution never provide this kind of service. So you need to use option two. For option one, you need to go to the school that you attend and ask them to send your transcript to WES. Of course, you need to pay money to the school. And very important thing is you need to uh, put your reference number on the envelope. After you pay for your WES application, you will get the reference number. So make sure the reference number is in your envelope. So for option one, you just go to the school and tell them that you want to do this kind of thing and the school will have you to send to the WES. For option two, that is for the school that don't provide this kind of service that deliver your transcript to the WES. In that case, for option two, you have to go to school and get the transcript and ask the school to send it to you with C envelope. I will tell you again, it is C envelope. So when the school send it to you, you cannot open the envelope and change anything. So make sure everything is sealed and all the required transcripts are in the envelope. And when you receive the envelope from the school, you put the reference number and send the package to WES. I hope you understand better. If you still don't understand, you can leave me a comment and ask me more about this. As you can see, it's not difficult. You just follow the instruction and you should be fine. After you finish everything, either you choose option one or option two. Make sure the package is sent to this address. Make sure when you send the package, you choose the delivery with the tracking number so that you can keep track of your package. And after send it to the WES, the processing time is about one month or if you have more than one credential, it can take even longer. In my case, I sent total three credential because I had two diploma and one bachelor degree. So it took me about one and a half month to finish all three credential assets. When WES finish your application, they will deliver to your home address. When you receive your ECA report, I recommend you to keep a photocopy of your ECA report. When you submit your permanent resident application, you don't need to send the original, you just need to send the photocopy because they have their own record in their system. If you are curious about how the ECA report looks like, here is my ECA report.
I hope my video helped you understand the ECA better. If you still have the question, feel free to leave a comment and we can discuss further. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.